So for the last video for this section, we have solving rational inequalities. So this is inequalities where instead of polynomials, we have a rational function, which remember is a polynomial over a polynomial, px over qx. Uh, and then it has one of these four inequalities and then zero on the other side. That's the form we want to put it in at least. Okay, the endpoints of your intervals are found by setting the numerator equal to zero and the denominator equal to zero. That's the trick here. One of them. <laughs> Where P of X equals zero, the dots are hollow for less than or greater than and solid for less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. Where Q of X is zero, the dots are always open dots because we can't divide by zero. So when Q of X is zero, that value of X cannot be a, in the solution set because it forces you to divide by zero, which we can't do. So for example, solve four X, my, I'm sorry, that's wrong. <laughs> solve four minus five X over two X plus four is less than or equal to zero. So I set the numerator equal to zero. So four minus five X equals zero. And that gives me four equals five X, which gives me X equals four fifths. So that's one of my endpoints of intervals. And that's going to be solid. I just wrote it right next to it to remember that it's solid because it's less than or equal to. It's the equals part. Makes it solid. And then there's 2x plus 4 equals 0. If you move the 4 to the other side, it becomes 2x equals negative 4. Divide the 2 out, you get x equals negative 2. I kind of probably should have written in that intermediate step, but I didn't. Uh, it's fairly short. And you can plug the negative 2 in real quick and see if it works. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 plus 4 is 0, so it's got to be right. That's an open dot because it comes from the denominator equal to 0. Okay, so we graph these two points, one at negative 2 and one at 4 fifths. And then that divides the line into three regions, and I need to see which regions lie in the solution set. So I want to try test points from each region. And I probably picked negative 3, 0, and 1. Yep, negative 3, 0, 1. OK, and what you want is for that thing to be negative, 4 minus 5x over 2x plus 4 to be negative. So you want um, one of the two factors, one of the two, the top or bottom, to be positive and one to be negative is what you want. So if I try negative 3, I just wrote it all out here. I get it positive over negative, which is negative, and that's what I wanted. So that checks off. If I try x equals 0, I get 1, which is greater than 0, not what I wanted. If I try x equals 1, I get negative 1, 6, which is negative. So that checks off. So I want to fill in the... Um, those two regions, the one containing negative 3, which is this one over here, the one containing 1, which is this interval here, because those are the two that worked. So I checked them. OK, interval notation. I'll have parentheses, negative infinity, comma, negative 2 parentheses, union, square bracket, 4 fifths, comma, infinity parenthesis. Remember, infinity always gets a parenthesis. And that's that for that section.